Hello. How did you get in? Oh, front door. I'm good at doors. Um, do you mind my asking? Is that your sonic screwdriver? <laughs> I'd be lost without it. But that's a screwdriver. How's it sonic? Well, uh, it makes a noise. That's sonic, isn't it? Now, since we're acting like common burglars, I suggest we get out of plain view. This investigation of yours, what's it all about? It started with a murder. Oh, good. Oh, it's bad, but who's? Mr. Jackson Lake, a teacher of mathematics from Sussex. Came to London three weeks ago and died a terrible death. Cybermen. It's hard to say. His body was never found. But then it started. More secret murders, then abductions. Children stolen away in silence. So whose house is this? The latest murder. The Reverend Aubrey Fairchild, found with burns to his forehead, like some advanced form of electrocution. But who was he? Was he important? You ask a lot of questions. I'm your companion. The Reverend was the pillar of the community, a member of many parish boards, a keen advocate of children's charities. Children again? But why would the Cybermen want him dead? And what's his connection to the first death, this Jackson Lake? It's funny. I seem to be telling you everything. As though you engendered some sort of trust. You seem familiar, Mr. Smith. I know your face. But how? I wonder. I can't help noticing you're wearing a fob watch. Is that important? Legend has it that the memories of a time novel be contained within a watch. Do you mind? It's said, if it's opened. Oh, maybe not. That's more for decoration. Yeah. Anyway, alien infiltration. Yes. Just look for anything different. Possibly metal. Anything that doesn't seem to belong. Perhaps a mechanical device that could fit no earthly engine. Could even seem to be organic. But unlike any organism of the natural world. Shh. What's that noise? Oh, it's just me whistling. I wonder what's in here, though. <laughs>